five of us to beat him last time. I still can't believe he caught one of my smart bombs. Just like that. We have already... Hold on. You don't remember? I remember sparring against the Celestial Madonna in a small village. And then the cold darkness of the promise devouring my soul. Until you found me. Yeah, you missed a lot. More, are you okay letting Mantis fight the church alone out there? She won't fight. She'll focus on evacuating people. Maybe they can all hide in the caves. So she's just gonna let the church take over her homeworld? Mantis would tell you that people matter more than the planet. And she knows that the church won't stop coming until we rescue Nikki. You have great confidence in this celestial Madonna. She's one of the few people I know I can trust. Really? She freaks me out. Because she's smarter than you? And kinder. Hey, that nickname makes my skin crawl. I'm furry, not fuzzy. Not even that little. Hey, Quill. You seem like you're in a good mood. Huh, do I? I've got a great idea for a new blaster extension. Can't wait to put it together. Well, now that the gang's back together and we've got a minute to breathe, I think you deserve an official thank you for what you did on Lamentis. <laughs> Quill, I, uh... I know you don't like that kind of sappy stuff, but I really mean it. Knowing about the crap those scientists did to you, not only does it make my blood boil, it puts everything in perspective. Oh, come on, it was just a puddle. I don't know if I could have gotten over something like that. You saved our lives, man. You deserve a bit of praise. The rodents saved your lives, and scientists were involved. I have many questions. Yeah, well, save them for the next time we all get a drink together, buddy. Let's see what we can make with the parts you've got. One shiny upgrade, nice and crafted. Ain't gonna get craftsmanship like that anywhere else. Did you just... You have closed the refrigerator door. Yeah, I do that sometimes. I thought I was the only one who ever bothered. I thought I was the only one. I observed the tree closing at once. Glad you're back on our side, Drax. I got a feeling we'll need to go full destroyer on this one. I shall be ready, Peter Quill. I have witnessed the threat posed by Magus firsthand. No one should suffer from its malignant lies. I owe all of you a great debt of gratitude. It would be my honor to fight beside you with all of my might. That's a lot of might. Groot agrees with you, Muscles. Sounds like we've got ourselves a nice church butt-kicking party. I only hope our guest agrees to join this buttock-striking celebration. over me and go that's not how that works oh Gamora since when do you meditate I don't but desperate times and all stuff's been a lot lately I get it how the help me do I get it uh, so how do you use this then in case you know Rocket asks. Well, for one, it isn't about just holding it. You also need a comfortable place to sit, where you can be relaxed but alert, and focus on your breathing. Then you practice. A lot. <laughs> yeah. That sounds like a lot more work than I was hoping for. Anything worth doing tends to be. So how do you do it? Focus was something Thanos beat into us early on. But it wasn't until I lived with the priests of Pama that I realized how limited his version of meditation really was. I can't picture Thanos meditating. I kind of always figured he was this egotistical tyrant. No, oh, he totally was. But Thanos also understood that aspects of meditation could be useful to his cause. Like focus? 
focus, increasing overall awareness, pain tolerance. He came up with a series of exercises, fun little games for me and Nebula to compete in as part of our training. The worst part was, we didn't even know what he was doing until it was too late. What do you mean? Thanos' brand of meditation warped us, turned us into hyper-focused weapons. That way we were numb to the horrors of his agenda. Killing people. Assassination is just a different name for murder. So how did you cope? We made puns. Bad, stupid jokes to shout as we were. Killing people. The more terrible, the better. Here, I thought you just had a really lame sense of humor. Oh, I do. But it was the only way to survive. And it was something we did together. A new kind of competition. Just between me and Nebula. To see who can make the other laugh. That's really messed up. And yet, oddly endearing. Yeah, well, even bad puns can only get you so far before your conscience catches up with you. How did you end up living with the priests of Palma? They're not exactly your kind of crowd with the whole pacifism thing. Mantis introduced me to them last year, when I needed to heal. They helped me in ways I didn't think were possible. Helped? How? I guess you could say I was broken. Thanos, the war, working as an assassin, can take a toll on you. By the time Mantis brought me there, I was ready to give up. I mean, I was miserable. Convinced I was beyond redemption or worth. I truly believed I deserved to die. But you didn't. Die? No. There was this boy there. A con. The one you hugged in the village. A con was like me. Lost. His parents had died in an accident. He was combative, rebellious, the opposite of a pacifist. <laughs> the priest thought it would be a good idea for both of us to work through our scut together. <laughs> and was it? <laughs> At first, not really. He was a pain in the butt. But over time, we came to rely on each other. Thanos had taught me how to meditate in the functional sense, but not in the spiritual sense. Like how to work through my trauma, caring for a con that he forced me to reflect and process. And together, through mutual support, a con and I were able to overcome our demons. Wow. I had no idea meditation could be so intense. Or beneficial? Well, yeah, that too. I guess I should give it a go sometime. Although I'm kind of scared of what I'll find. Who knows? You might surprise yourself. I know I did. Yeah, maybe. Hey, Warlock. Open up. This is my room, you know. And that would be my cassette cover. You pen this pithy poetry? It's not poetry, it's music. Hard rock. It's supposed to have guitars and bass and drums. Simplistic scriptures, as is its scribe. Okay, what's your deal, man? What did I do to piss you off? Your lamentable leadership allowed the Madonna to leave when we needed her talents to travel to the telepathic realm. Mantis had good reason to stay behind. We just need to get Nikki and get the hell out so we can find her again. Your tenuous tactics trust too much to fortune. Can you confidently convince me your meager measures may amply manage this mission? Yes. Absolutely. Wise words. Sure and measured. But beheld by my bemused misgivings, your demeanor differs distinctly in direction from my more willful ways. Maybe we can meet in the middle, then. Yes. An oath! Will you own an oath to operate with greater aggression? To give gravitas to gravid seasons of your soul and struggle not to stand on destiny's icy flows? Sure, man. Whatever it takes. Then assert it. I swear I'll be a good leader. That'll be decisive and, and 
uh, that I won't let Manus do whatever she wants. I stand partially reassured. What about you, Mr. Fancy Words? How do I know you won't see Raker and have a change of heart? Why would I weasel away? Didn't you used to be best buds with him? We were common company for a fleeting fallow, through which I witnessed the incommensurable extent of his sadness. He mourns his lost son. That's why he's doing all of this. The church, the matriarch? Because he wants to get his kid back. But that can't happen, right? Megas can't... No. Cannot. So? We can count on you? When you reunite with Raker, that man's gotta go down. Indubitably. Wanton hand supply sustenance to this chamber. He's asking for room service now. So, how is he? Frustrating. It's like talking to Suzanne Harris at the summer dance all over again. Hey, that one's from Lamentis. Does that mean it's a sacred plant? Groot, did you steal a sacred plant from Lamentis? <laughs> My shoulders are sore. Yeah, Mantis is heavier than she looks. How is she connected with my soreness? <laughs> she rode your back all the way down the caves to Goldie's place. Really? Rodent, you mentioned the Madonna riding my shoulders through the caves. Yep. There was more than one cave then. You really don't remember anything at all? It may be up to us to stop the church in nowhere. You ready? I am Groot. He's worried about the mutt. Says it would be easier with his help. I didn't think Cosmo would let the church take over his station. But if they got the Cortex, then... He is but one canine against the army of the Converted. That explains why we ain't been able to reach Cosmo. If you don't answer it, they'll vaporize us. I will handle this communication. All yours, buddy. Deceased wife and daughter are with me. To thank the matriarch for her gift. May the promise be fulfilled. You are clear to land on the spaceport. Them bars and betting parlors and noodle joints. Maybe it's not as bad as it looks. I assume it will be worse. Raker rallies regiments while we wait, whistling in the wings. Landing as fast as I can, Gold. What the flark? Great, cocoon boy thinks he's a butterfly now. He is a man of action. Let's just hope that he can keep the church busy while we look for Nikki. Didn't think you'd be able to bluff your way through security muscles. 
I am quite adept at deception. We're gonna need more than that to get to the Continuum Cortex and rescue Nikki. Especially with Golden Boy jumping ship. Should we, like, try to find him? Time is running out. We cannot lose focus if we are to save the girl. Drax is right. Let's just hope Warlock can do a bit of damage on his side. So, final showdown against Raker. This time, you'll get him for good. I intend to. We're not leaving here without Nikki. Just so you know, I'll do everything I can to save your girl. I, I know it's important to you. I am Groot. Groot wants you to know he'll do all he can to save your kid. You know what? I think I kind of understood that. I am Groot. Same here. Can't wait to whoop some robe flarkers. Your kid sure got herself in a deep quill. Her mom died, man. If Warlock's telling the truth, that thing inside her is using Corel's death to manipulate her. I get it. Ain't gonna be easy getting her out of there, but I'll die trying. Gotta make the Flarkers pay for what they did to Nowhere. And Contraxia. And all the killing and converting and stuff. You take care of the Milano, okay? Make sure the ship's still here when we come back. Ready, Drax? I am. My blades are as sharp as the rodent's tongue. Was that a metaphor? It was a simile. Just wanted to make sure you didn't have any lingering effects from the promise. I know the evil it conceals. Magus and the church must be stopped. Let's do this. Time to save Nikki. Peter. Okay. Just be cool. Let me handle these guys. Welcome, travelers. Have you come to witness the fulfillment? What now? The realization of the Matriarch's promise. The beginning of a new world. One without death, or pain, or fear. You should know this. Weren't you vetted and cleared to land here? What? Of course we were. How are you not aware of the fulfillment? Something is wrong. These heretics must be stopped! Attack!
knows better prey their new world comes without death or pain or fear. Cause I'm gonna kill him for flarking up this spaceport. They have been very busy with decorating. All the more reason for us to get to the Cortex and find Nikki. <sighs> Anybody see any this way to the fulfillment signs? No. I will inform you if I observe any. Um, thanks. End of the known universe, but don't see how it figures into anything. Scott! Cosmos Tower shut down. That's because it's never been dark before. You do realize some of the guys shooting at us were nowhere security? This does not bode well for the dog. Never was the Mutt's biggest fan, but we could have used the backup telepath. Just because the tower shut down doesn't mean Cosmo is too. Last time we were here, he knocked out me, Gamora, and Drax, and Lady Hellbender's bounty hunters, like it was nothing. We just gotta have faith he's okay. Really, Peter? Faith? There does appear to be an excess of it stored here. Kinda dreading what we're gonna see in the marketplace. Same thing we saw when we flew in. Yeah, but it'll be up close. Nowhere really stunk sometimes, but... Flark! Over there! There's so many of them. I thought most nobodies would have rejected the promise. Everyone wants something they can't have. Yeah, but these crooks were suspicious of anyone. You're right, Rocket. The people who lived here were rough. I once saw someone beat someone else to a pulp because they gave them a compliment. No way they'd willingly join up. A sword to the throw can be very convincing. They got Clark and Faith batteries everywhere. Just like on Hal's Hope. Perhaps they have built another giant ray gun inside the Continuum Cortex. To siphon Faith from multiple worlds at once? Is that even possible? The energy ain't filling these batteries. It's moving away from them. So they're powering something. Sure looks like it. Wonder if any of these fortune tellers saw this coming. Unlikely. They were all charlatans. Most of them were pickpockets and fences. Pretty useful people to know. Everyone quiet. We got company. the deeper we go. Hundred units says they're tied to the fulfillment. The priest said that they were bringing... They can't raise the dead, especially after we save Nikki. I'm surprised the church was able to seize the Cortex. It seemed pretty secure last time. Over here! Looks like we can squeeze through. We must be close to Mantlo's bar. Can you see it? Not really. There's a lot of debris in the way. I had a contact here. There is no way through this wall. There could be a bunch of wackos just waiting. Whoa! Oh! Peter! Well, that didn't work. Clark, I'm going in. What about the fanatics? I'll toast them if I see them. We're the only ones who can do this, right? Gamora, you should be able to get your sword in there now. Give me a boost. Oh, Scott! Not Mantlos. Look at her. This is personal, Quill. Peter, let's go! 
I know how much you love this dive. It was the one spot in this whole Flarkin galaxy where a guy could feel safe. I mean, except for the bar brawls and the security raids and the bounty hunters. We'll drink to it later. Right now, we've got to keep moving. I've been thinking about what Warlock said. Which part? He hasn't stopped talking since we met him. There has been no sign of Goldie Bronze since he left from our ship. Adam Warlock. He might be splattered somewhere across the lower city. Or got picked up by a wandering creep squad. Or maybe he was lying about which side he was on and is just waiting to attack us. The Warlock carries an old grudge. He would not align himself with the Grand Unifier. We are done here. We will need to tell a Rhapsodist about these adventures. Yeah, what do we need the Golden Boy for, anyways? We were doing fine without him. I was not fine. Magus was devouring my soul. Your memory is suspect. My memory is flawless. I'm just an optimist. Ha! You know why we need Warlock to stop Magus' space magic ritual? We don't know space magic! Yeah, because that ain't a real thing. Careful. There's treachery ahead. Okay, we got this. The Emporium used to be right here. Did the church destroy it? Doubt it. The Collector probably blasted out of here at the first sign of trouble. Before the first sign. The Collector's supposed to be able to see the future. Wait, how did he move the whole Emporium? It was a ship. Huh. Never would have guessed it from the inside. Eh, maybe it's more of a shuttle. Ah, Groot's right. We're getting distracted. What does it feel like to have one's soul torn in two? If Magus was half my soul, I'd be happy to get rid of it. More Germany's dropping in! They'll be dropping like flies soon enough! Lock it! Safety's off! already this looks like a dead end for some more than others do you hear something like chanting no I could have swore oh man rockets talked about these he's gonna love this Looks like the church is trying to keep us out of there. That's not gonna work. Careful, Peter Quill. Guys, look down. It's an awful lot of light. You're thinking it's the full Flarkman, ain't you? But it could just be runoff from the cables. Whatever these whack jobs are up to, they need a lot of juice. Perhaps this is how they powered their fleet to reach Lamentus. Yeah, the Cortex could handle that on its own. Nikki had Warlock's Soul Stone in her hand. What if it's fused there and Raker's trying to remove it? <laughs> like he did with Goldilocks? Didn't work all that well the first time. The girl may have sensed the evil of the stone and insisted they try again. Or she's outlived her usefulness and Raker wants the stone's power for himself. Regardless, we must reach the Undercity to find the girl and stop whatever they are doing. And we'll have to be ready for them to try and stop us. The converted ones will be prepared to die in order to bring their loved ones back to life. It's pretty ironic. That's not the way to Cosmo. There might be something down there we can use. Group. Ah, the seedy underbelly, seedy underbelly. You know, they used to run a poacher's ring out of here. Is that what that smell was? Yep, rotting beasts from Maclu 4. I was really hoping there'd be hover bikes down here. Why would there be? No outrageous parking fees, for one. And two, sometimes you want to drop something off without anyone else seeing. Can you squeeze in there? 
So if there were hover bikes down here, we could have hopped on and zipped down to the lower city. Me and Groot used to do it all the time. There you go. Should be safe. Thank Flark, these boots are waterproof. Dead end. And let's continue before Nikki becomes a dead end, too. Our level of cooperation is invigorating. We have become a formidable team. Yep, sure have, Drax. Ain't we just one big, happy Flark and family? She's not garbage. Behold the power of her might! Via Magnati! Never better. Yep, definitely not good. Gamora, wait, hold on a sec. Why? Some more children can be sacrificed in the name of Rager's flarked up church. Oh, of course not. Just just what, Peter? I don't know. Breathe. Every minute we waste. We don't have time to breathe. I know Raker brings back bad memories. This isn't about Thanos. It's about Nikki, and what men like Raker and Thanos do to girls like her. Like me. My sister. If I had just been better at protecting Nebula, maybe... 
Maybe she wouldn't be dead. Whoa. What? Nebula's dead? How? By who? Tell me, so I can find him and shake his Kratakin hand. By me. You killed your sister? She is the one you saw in the Matriarch's Promise. That's how I knew it was a lie. The nebula I knew had been twisted into a hateful, vengeful monster thing. One who would never stop unless I stopped her. So I did. I just never expected to survive. Why didn't you say something? It's not exactly a conversation starter. Hi, I'm Gamora. I murdered my sister. Can we be friends? Of course we can't. How can you be friends with a monster? Why would you want that on your team? A team I actually... kind of enjoyed being on. All things considered. Well, uh, I hate Nebula, so I actually would have... What? I'm just saying it don't change nothing. Actually, it changes everything. The most deadly woman in the galaxy just admitted she loves us. <laughs> I did not. You did? You said you were in love with us right after the part about killing your sister. I said I enjoyed your company. That is the Katathian definition of love. Like. I I'll give you like. C can we just move on? Agreed. That's about all the love fest I can take. We accept you, Gamora Zenubri. Pretty sure we're married now. This is excruciating. All right, I'm pretty sure we've all caught our breath. What say we go stop a nutjob cult leader? Yes. Let's get to the bridge. Cosmos Tower is the quickest way. 